Lush haul for you guys. Um, I haven't done a Lush haul in a really long time. I actually looked up when I did one and it was like three years ago. Like I really haven't picked up too much from them in a while because I stopped using their skincare. I kind of stopped using their products for a while and the only things that I would pick up is like a couple of bath bombs here and there. Like I'm pretty sure I picked up some Halloween ones last year, but I think that was probably the last time I actually did. So I went kind of ham and I went and stocked up on bath bombs and body washes. So I wanted to share with you guys what I got. So this is my biggest Lush haul I've ever done. Um, but I hadn't been to the store in like six or seven months at least, you know, since they closed for like a few months and they did reopen back in July, but I just haven't made it there until like a couple days back. So I went on Wednesday before work to get some stuff. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. So the first thing um, that I got is a body wash and I probably raved about this to you guys like a million times, but I think that they finally made this a permanent bath wash. <clears throat> I mean shower gel and this is the rose jam shower gel I went and picked up a smaller one again um, but I use this up so much um, and I use this up relatively quickly because this is like one of my all-time favorite scents from Lush it just smells so amazing even if you're not a fan of rose this smells so good like it says lather up with decadent rose absolute vanilla pot infusion and nourishing argan oil like it feels so good on the skin it doesn't irritate my skin at all and it just smells amazing oh, it smells so good i love this one and i'm so glad they made this a permanent one because this used to be only one that you could get during the holidays and now they made it a permanent uh shower gel because i've seen all three sizes in the store they ha or maybe they just came out with them now. I'm not really sure, like maybe September to December, but I'm pretty sure I saw this in the store the last time I was there. So I'm pretty sure this is permanent now, but yeah, I freaking love it. And then the other um, shower um, body wash slash jelly that I picked up, this is one of their shower jellies. I picked up the Twilight Shower Jelly. Now, I had never seen this before in this scent. Twilight is like their most popular bath bomb like it's one of it's my all-time favorite scent from um lush besides the rose jam and i had no idea they came out with this in a shower jelly um i love the shower gel in this too but they usually only come out with that during the holidays i think that one is the holiday one for this scent but this i saw in the store and i was like oh my god i love this scent so much and i haven't had one of their shower jellies since i used up the santa's belly shower jelly like a couple years back so i kind of wanted to get another one so this one is the twilight one and i'll open it up and show it to you guys but it smells so good i can't even explain it and this is what it looks like i'm not gonna um tilt it a too much because I feel like it's going to spill but it kind of has like a blue color to it and it's like midnight it basically looks like the midnight sky like the sky looks at twilight with like stars and it looks so cool and it smells so good I actually did try this last night and it made my skin smell so good so I can't wait to use this more and yeah that's pretty much it for the bath um about I mean that's pretty much it for the shower um body washes and now let's get into all of the bath bombs and bubble bars that I picked up so we're just going to go for it and reach for whatever I grabbed first I will insert a clip of a demo of one of the bath bombs that I got I got the monsters ball bath bomb but I have had that one before so I decided to use that one first because all of these other ones are brand new to me. I've never tried any of these other ones before. Um, and I wanted to pick up some Halloween ones and some seasonal ones um, for the Halloween season. Um, but the Monsters Ball one is a Halloween one as well. But I have had that one before. So I wanted to use that one again. Because I know how it is and how it smells and everything. All these other ones are brand new to me. But I will show you guys a demo of what it looks like in the bathtub and everything. So... The first one that I picked up is one of the Halloween ones, and this is the Pumpkin Pickin, no, Pumpkin Pumpkin Bath Bomb. And this one 
it doesn't you know what's annoying is that it tells you the ingredients but it doesn't really tell you the smells it says cinnamon lime wild orange and red mandarin and pumpkin so i would say it like kind of smells like all of those basically the scent that i get from this is kind of like it's like pumpkin-y but not too overwhelmingly pumpkin it doesn't really smell like pumpkin spice it has like actually a pretty mild scent to it which is kind of surprising for lush because usually they have really really potent scents but this one is actually pretty mild so this is what this one looks like and obviously it's shaped like a jack-o-lantern which i think is so freaking cute so i decided to pick up this one and it smells really really good this one i actually thought was a bubble bar but it is a bath bomb it is kind of big and thick for a bath bomb but i'm really excited to try this one and also the girl told me that helped me out in the store that this one actually glows in the dark so i will show you guys a clip of this glowing in the dark i'm just gonna wait till it gets dark out today to show you guys but i'm really excited but like who takes a bath in the dark like you're just gonna try it out and see what it looks like before you get in the bathtub like it's not actually the smartest idea to take a bath in the dark but you know i, I just thought that was cool but i'm just like i'm not gonna take a bath in the dark so anyway let's grab the next one so the next one is called the roar bath bomb and this one is actually one that's going to be discontinued soon i didn't even know that i kind of looked at the website last night to see if there was like other things that i want to get like body lotions or something because i still have been wanting to try the sleepy um body lotion but i still haven't picked it up yet i don't know why but i just kind of had a limited amount of time before work so i just wanted to get the bath bombs and leave so. so this one says it's green tea powder citric acid peppermint oil um and that's basically it so that's basically what i mean this one i feel like smells mostly like the green tea it smells really good i really like this scent um, so this is what this one looks like. It's so freaking cute because it's shaped like a dinosaur. I'm really trying not to get bath powder all over me, but I'm kind of failing. So this is what it looks like. So obviously it looks like a dinosaur and I freaking love this. I love like anything that's like dinosaur themed. I don't know why I've always been like that, um, but it smells amazing. Oh, it smells really good. This is one of my favorite ones that I picked up. Um, so I'm really excited to try this. I'm figuring it's just going to turn my bathtub green, which will be fun. Um, so that is the next one that I got. I have to go grab a tissue. I'm getting bath powder everywhere already. Okay, sorry about that. I just can't keep on getting all the bath powder all over my pants. So now let's go into some more. So the next one that I got is another dinosaur themed one. And this is one of the um, bubble bars. So this is the excavation bubble bar and this one says it's lime citric acid sicilian lemon oil cornstarch and that's pretty much it um she i think the lady told me that i mean the girl that helped me that this one smells more like limey um it says occurs naturally in essential oils which is the lime lim, limonene limonene <laughs> And it says crumble under running one crumble under running warm water to create lots of bubbles. So this is really cute because it's kind of shaped like a fossil. So this is what it looks like. Again, this one's like super glittery, but it has like a fossil in it. I'm trying to hold it so I don't get glitter all over my hands, but this one smells good. This one's not like my absolute favorite but again it has like a pretty mild scent to it and I just think it's so adorable because it has like the fossil in it so this one kind of intrigued me so I wanted to try this one and plus like the bubble bars are like really thick and this one I feel like I could use probably in like one use because this one's a little bit thinner than most of the other ones that they have because the point of the bubble bars is that they're supposed to be like um you they you can use them more than once they're not like the bath bombs because the bath bombs you just put them in the tub and watch them dissolve but the bubble bars you can actually cut in half so you can use them like another time but for me like i feel like that's so annoying and then like i have to wash like the knife off that i use so i just like don't want to go through that okay so the next one that i got is called the peachy bath bomb and obviously this one smells like peaches i mean i don't really have to 
go too much into the description of this one. This one has a lot of ingredients in it though, but I do like that these, um, since like, you know, in the store now, you can't just like grab them and put them in a bag and like handle them. They're all pre-packaged. And I kind of like that more because then like, because when we used to buy them, they were all just like stacked up in like a little thing. And like, you don't know who's been touching them, but at the same time, like once you put them in the warm water, I'm sure they like, you know, evaporate the germs of like people touching it all of them but I do like that they're all pre-packaged now and I do like that they have all the ingredients listed on the package now um so yeah this one smells like peach it also says it has grapefruit oil in it and fresh peach juice which is awesome cream of tartar cream of tartar and that's what I see what the what are the main scents in this one and this is so freaking cute this one I love it this one kind of reminds me of like James and the Giant Peach so that's what it looks like. Like how freaking cute. And it smells so amazing. This is definitely like my favorite one I picked up. I cannot wait to use this one. This is probably the one I'm going to use next. I'm going to save like the Halloween ones like for October. But I usually like take a bath like once a week. So that it's just so cute. And it has like the stem on top. So I think it's like freaking adorable. I love this. I can't wait to use this one. So that's the next one that I got. I'm going to smell like Lush when I get to my boyfriend's house. Let me just text him super quick. Um, so yeah, so that was the next one. Then the next one that I got is called Bat Art Bath Bomb. And this is one of the other Halloween ones. Um, and this is a bath bomb. I actually thought this one was a bubble bar, but it's a bath bomb. And it says this one smells like sage oil. I kind of ripped the tags in half. Rosemary oil. Ooh, that's why it smells so good. Sicilian lemon oil. So I think it's mostly rose and lemon. So this one is really, really cute. I love this. And it smells so it smells really, really good. I really love how this one smells too. And if you could tell by the name, this one is a bat because it's so cute. Let me try and turn it so you guys can actually see. It's so hard to hold these so you don't get like the bath shavings like everywhere from when you touch it. Because this one like literally transfers to your hand so fast and it makes your hands like black. Well, this is what it looks like. So it's obviously shaped like a bat. It's so freaking adorable. It smells so good, so I can't wait to use this one either. I actually thought this one was way bigger, but it's actually a good size. Um, and yeah, this one looks really cool. I'm sure it's going to turn my back black, so I'm excited about that. I hope it doesn't get too um, black. I mean, obviously, I can just rinse it off, but I hope it doesn't like stain my skin or anything. I don't think I've tried a black bath bomb from them before, so it should be interesting. I'll definitely update you guys when I do use this stuff. I'll probably like put them on my Instagram stories of when I use them. So, okay. So then the next one that I got is called this one, I believe. Yes. Okay. So this one is called mermaid tail. I actually, for some reason, I don't have the sealed, um, tape on this one. Cause this one, she did package for me. I guess maybe this one didn't have a pre-packaged one. I'm not really sure, but this one is so cool looking. This is probably like my favorite shaped one. And this one smells really good too. This one says the human world is a mess. Get away from it all with our undersea wonder mermaid tail. This two-in-one bathing buddy comes a, a softening, combines a softening silky bath oil with one of our classic bubble bars. Oh, that's cool. It says it's citrusy scents of lemon myrtle grapefruit oils will boost your mood with a dose of heady ylang 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 ylang. Um, will boost your mood while a while a dose wait sorry while a dose of heady yelling yelling keeps you grounded no matter what you choose when you say your collection's complete that's cute just like part of your world my collection's complete so this is what it looks like it's really cute I love this one I mean I say that about every single one but this one is really cute and this one you don't have to worry about too much about it like having shavings anywhere because it's too it's very smooth, um, but this is so cute. Like, I love the tail. It it does look 
pretty much exactly like Ariel's tail. So I'm really excited to try this one. And this one smells so good. You definitely get that super like um, lemony scent to it. It's very lemony. And I love lemon scented stuff too. So it smells really, really good. Like there's not too many scents I'm not too much of a fan of. I just don't love when the scent is like too overwhelming. It's just like too much for me, but okay. So now we're down to the last two in here. So the next one is called the flight bath bomb. And this one is actually also being discontinued as well. And this one says it's sea salt citric. Oh, I'm not sure about the sea salt in here. I'm not like my skin hates like any kind of like salt scrubs like I can only use sugar scrubs I'm extremely sensitive to sea salt scrubs so I might go to the store and ask them about this one and if I don't really like it I might ask them to return it like I'm just going to keep it in the bag so I don't think it'll be a big deal if I decide to return it um I'm not sure what their policy is on returns right now but I'm not sure if I'm going to love this one because I didn't know it had sea salt oil in it. I might go exchange it for the Rocket Science one because that one looks so cute. And that one's also getting discontinued soon too. So this one says sea salt, bergamot oil, geranium, geranium oil, Sicilian red mandarin oil. And those are mostly the top notes in this one. So this one looks really, really cute. And it smells good this one kind of smells a little bit like cologne to, uh cologne -y to me like a man but when you actually smell it it smells pretty good and it looks so cool like it kind of looks like a planet i kind of want to look up the inspo of this one because it just like looks awesome but it kind of looks like the earth too and it smells good i like it but if it has the sea salt in it i don't know if i'm gonna love it because my body just like cannot handle sea salt or any kind of salt scrubs because my body is just extremely sensitive to them it like makes my skin burn like I can only use sugar scrubs so let me see real quick uh light I just want to see the description of this one I'm kind of intrigued on this one It says, need a pick-me-up, you'll be flying in no time thanks to this citrusy sweet bomb. Fill your tub and toss it in, enjoying the beautiful swirl pastel colors. Then climb in and get ready for takeoff with a blend of mood-boosting oils. A dash of dream oil. Oh, okay. So it doesn't really say much about the salt, so it probably should be fine. But it says, coarse sea salt softens and exfoliates skin. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to love that. So I might have to return that one. But it smells really, really good. But I will update you guys what they say about this one and if it's okay for sensitive skin because yeah I, I didn't really know that and then we have one left that's it you guys um so the last one that I picked up I don't want to ruin the receipt just in case if I do need to return it so let me just take the receipt out of here so the last one that I got is called the mescaline bath bomb and this one also has sea salt in it so this one, again, I'm going to be a little bit careful about using. Let me just put the bag down because we pretty much went through everything. So this one says citric acid, sea salt, carrageenan extract, bergamot oil, litsia, cubeca, cubiba oil, I mean, olibanum oil. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what any of these scents are, so let me just look this one up as well. Me mescaline. I don't think it's mescaline. I think it's melusine. Me mescaline? No, it is mescaline. I don't know how to say it. It says, if you're feeling like a nervous wreck, drop mescaline in. Drop mescaline a line. This mesmerizing mermaid bath bomb. It's another mermaid one, so I don't really want to return it. it. Says it's with a scent similar to the much loved avocado co wash, which smells really good. I and that's actually a really nice bath bomb too. I think I've tried that one. It says the shimmering turquoise waters, and basically all the oils that I read is what it smells like. So 
And it is a like C kind of one too, which is really, really cute. So I'm not sure if I really want to return this, but this is what this one looks like. It has like the mermaid scales on it and it's full of glitter and it's like yellow and turquoise and it just looks really, really fun. So, and this one smells, oh, it smells so good. But damn, that is overwhelming. <laughs> Damn, that is a lot of scent. But this one definitely has a lot of glitter and I just got it like everywhere. I'm getting like, oh my God, I'm getting so much bath stuff on me. At least I'll smell really good when I see him. But yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, So I hope you guys enjoyed this um bath. I hope you guys enjoyed this bath product Lush Haul. Um, I hope you guys, you know, enjoy these kind of videos. I will be having a makeup haul soon. I am just waiting for one more package to come. It'll probably come like next week and then I will share everything that I got with you guys over the month of September and then I'm going to kind of slow down on getting makeup. That's why I wanted to get like some Lush stuff. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to do a one-stop shop kind of thing where I just picked up everything. I was kind of interested in trying like some online brands of bath stuff, but... For me, I would rather like go into Lush and like smell everything because for me, like I'm very picky with scents. Like if I don't like the scent or if I don't like the ingredients, like I just get, you know, kind of upset because, you know, I can't go and return it to like an online store. So like I just decided to go to Lush and pick up some stuff to pamper myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you guys have picked up anything from Lush recently. I would love to know. So please like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. Bye. Oh, hey there guys so i just wanted to show you guys that i did pick up this bath bomb as well it's called monsters ball i did want to use one of them before i actually record the haul this is one that i've actually tried before and i probably have shown you guys before um so i just wanted to show you that i did pick up this one all the other ones are newer to me so i figured i would use one that i've used before because i don't want to like you know spoil the surprise of all the other ones so yeah, I'm going to show you guys this one in the bathtub, and yeah, it smells really, really good. I love this one. Okay, so now I'm going to put it in the bag and see what happens. This is from Buffy, it's from Kate. So, I'll show you guys. I thought it would be fun to, you know, record this part since I never really show you guys any more colors of hair and stuff, so. And I like, you know, like moving it around so it doesn't always, like, dissolve very away and we need to cross it, so. But it's really pretty, it's pink and blue, so I'm going to smell it like that. Yeah, I'm going to take a bath now. This is how this one looks in the actual tub. It looks like pink and blue. It kind of looks like cotton candy. I love it. It smells so good.